What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today is finally a new Windows 10 Insider Preview dev channel build. This time I am looking at build 21313, makes it pretty simple in terms of wording. Now going into the browser, now the basic rundown for this, um, obviously the highlight is definitely the news and interest panel, which I still have not gotten access to, as you can see already. But um, they added some more localization into it and expanding news and interests uh, into more markets and things like that. So whether you're in Asia, um, Canada, Great Britain, stuff like that, you'll be able to get that now, as well as India, it says right there, Australia. And obviously, if you haven't seen my previous uh, Windows 10 uh, inside a preview build videos, you'll know that these news and interest panel is essentially an area that appears right here, kind of in this area here. And it lets you see, as you can see right there, it tells you the temperature right on your desktop, tells you a bunch of little news tidbits that are in your interests, obviously, um, and your weather and things like that. So rather than having to open up the weather application, you can rather just take a look in the corner of your screen you'll see that the weather is x degrees or your news is this or your stocks is this it looks to me this is a, a another iteration of like microsoft's kind of live tile look you know they're still taking live tiles may be gone uh but they're still utilizing that kind of mindset into the news and interest panel and that's kind of what you see here and it's been around in a couple builds it's slowly trickling out to insiders so uh, you might have access to it before even I do, but so far I don't have it. Going on further down to, it says it'll automatically detect your language and location and deliver a localized experience. So that means that if you're in Asia, China, or rather if you're in China, Japan, uh, India, Russia, whatever it is, whatever place is available, which it says the experience is not available in China yet, um, it'll detect that you live there and it'll detect your language preferences and it'll automatically set those preferences in the news and interest panel. And as you can tell there, they have some quite rounded corners there, which is obviously we heard rumors that it could be coming rounded corners in their, in their future update. So further, uh, Microsoft Edge news. So Microsoft Edge, we had the old Edge logo and uh, it looked kind of like the Internet Explorer logo. and it wasn't running off of Chromium engine. Now um, we have the new, what we call Chromium Edge or if Mary Jo Foley and Paul Therott call it Credge. And uh, yeah, so the Microsoft Edge, Edge legacy application is officially going away automatically uninstalled um, as of this build 21313 and you'll be replaced with the new Edge. And as you can see in the bottom of my taskbar, I have the new edge opened up. This is what happens when you first set uh, open it up after you install this update. If you haven't already installed the new edge, this is what will come up. And this is just telling you to complete the setup, telling you what's new in it, collections, uh, Microsoft awards. So if you hit complete setup, you can choose whichever format you want. And you see the background kind of changes just like that. Uh, so we can do focused. So that way it's just nice and focused. It says, uh, see your favorites and more on any device. So I'll just sign into that with my email address. And then you can choose to install your extensions, which if you choose to do so, you can also install extensions and so on. So it's bringing up that last pass extensions. I already have it on the other edge, but yeah, so they have the new edge. It's pre-installed for everybody. Now, um, they got rid of the old edge. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. There are some features that went away. I think about like the PDF reader. Uh, I believe that is not there like there was in the old edge. So you have to have like a separate PDF reader now on Windows. But yeah, that's pretty much it for edge. Getting out of that, going further down, it says modernizing the our IME candidate window design, with our input method window design or input method editor. Uh, window design basically it makes it easier for people with a east asian languages again such as chinese japanese those character languages um to use it and yeah so they made it a little smoother new versions of it excited and uh going further down it's it's not too much you need to see it's just they made it less intrusive they made it uh easier to just function and so on like that as well as the usual and performance in like improvements um, there's more to it there. You can select your characters. If you're typing, it says for those unfamiliar with the previous design, it looked like this when you started typing and it would fill in those characters there, which I cannot read. Um, and now it says we're looking for insiders to try our updated design, which looks more like this. So it goes from here, which is kind of like Windows 8, um, to a more fluent design. You can see you kind of, you can slightly see through it. If you look closely at it, you can see through the blue 
right behind here. So it's fluent, and then they got their dark theme and light theme. It's smooth, it's straightforward, and it seems to work pretty well. It says Ni Hao, so this is Chinese, so Ni Hao. Um, so this is how it used to look, or this is how it looks now with the new design. We have the fluent, the new fluent design of it with light and dark theme. Um, so they have Japanese, Chinese, simplified. Um, they have a whole bunch of languages here, which is pretty cool. Uh, going further too, there are some changes and things like that. Um, one thing that they said they launched, and I'm not even going to go through these changes and improvements yet. Right here, they said they're updating their iconography work. Um, so they've been working on that, obviously updating icons from the past. And this icon is for the narrator icon. Now, they said that they changed and updated it. They didn't say that this was in a limited fashion that you're going to get the new icons. But I can say right now that uh, I don't have any of those new icons for narrator. So if I type in narrator, oh, it just showed up actually. So when I first installed this, uh, narrator did not have this new icon. It was still this icon, kind of like the Metro icon. But it looks like after I waited about two hours, suddenly I just noticed the narrator change. So that's that's very odd, but that's the difference between those two icons right there. This is more fluent. This is more Metro. Um, so if you miss Metro, unfortunately, you're not going to have this icon anymore. But the nice thing is uh, if you just copy and paste this picture, you can probably save it in Photoshop and change your icon yourself if you want it back. Uh, going on further up, back to the other area that I wanted to say. Um, so, a couple builds ago, they 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 had a new window animation, and this new in window animation was when you minimize things, and if you minimize, it would be like that, and it would open up. But the people were complaining, and even I was complaining that the animation to minimize and do things with the windows um, launch animations would was really slow. It looked nice, but it was really slow. So they did a tweak and they updated the launch animation. So now you can see it's much faster. It's it's probably exactly what we want. I'm sure people will find things to nitpick on. The other thing too, it says the improvement to the candidate bar on the touch keyboard announced last week where it displays five characters maximum and centers into the position above the keyboard has begun rollout. So it says it's begun rollout and I'll explain that right now, which is why I brought the touch keyboard button here. So before, which is what I currently have, it says if I want to type in, let's say, let me go to new tab. If I want to say I want to type in, um, if I want to type in brave. Oh, let's, let's type in Brown's Manassas Kia, right? Instead of this is how it looks for most people right now that aren't running preview builds. And I am running this preview build right now. Um, I, so I haven't gotten that update yet, but soon it'll update to having um, to having an updated design. So this is what it's going to look like right here. So it says announced last week. Click on this link right here. Scrolling down, it should look more like this where you have the settings cascaded in that corner there, which it doesn't look like right now. It should be you should have escape if you have a bigger than 12 inch screen, which most people do. And this is what it should look like um, on the keyboard, which, again, I don't have. It's rolling out again to a subset of Windows Insiders at first. I do not have that uh, access yet, but when I do get it, I will show you guys what it looks like. Um, it says they enabled pinning items into their clipboard history design. So, and that's inside the emoji picture picker. So the easy way to look up the emoji picker or the clipboard is just do Windows key dot. And then you see the emojis and gifts and stuff like that. And then you just go over here to clipboard history. And you can see I put two screenshots here, right? So these are the clipboards. And you can choose to pin and unpin just by hovering over them. That wasn't there before. It does. It is available now to just about everybody. Um, so you'll have that. You'll be able to pin things to your clipboard so they will never go away after you use them. New voice typing experience was announced back in September and has begun rolling out to all insiders. Windows key plus H if you'd like to try it out in one of the supported languages. And then obviously they said this change was also released to Windows Insiders in April or in uh, the beta channel as part of a recent feature experience update. Um, so, yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of things for news and interest as their main thing that they're working on uh, that they're fixing up fixes. Just a whole bunch of them. Uh, alt tab reliability in the previous flight. They're fixing up VPN profile authentication and other things. So, yeah, that's that's a whole lot. As usual, I'm going to put the whole article in the description box um i'm going to put the link to it so you guys can read up on it if you're interested and yeah that's about it i don't want to go too deep into it so definitely take a look at it let me know what you guys think and obviously if you have anything that you see wrong 
use that feedback panel. All you do is just press the Windows key and you just type in feedback hub and you can open it up. And then there you go. You have the feedback hub, which you can then put in everything that you see wrong with whatever it is on your computer if you're in the insider builds. So enjoy, everybody. Happy Friday. and Happy President's Day weekend. Take care. Thank you.